whole book on how people smell different smells. Yeah, so whenever I smell that, I just make sure that I have the smoker available. Um, I try not to add smoke, although if I have to, I will. Um, because we want the bees just doing their jobs. Um, nurse bees are found on brood comb, but if you smoke them, then I don't know where they'll be. Okay. Because, um, you know, they'll start running around the hive and eating honey. And so we prefer not to smoke during, although it might not be possible. Um, and so then the other thing is um, open brood is, is far better than sealed brood. For the sample? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, the, the best thing to do, I'm sure you guys all know this, since would be to... Um, do you want so me I to want brush to just those take, in? No, I just make sure the queen's not on the other side. And I suck at finding queens, which is <laughs> unfortunate. But, and then I just put them, clean them up here. And they'll start walking in the hive. <laughs> um, so I'm going to guess that this is where the, the brood starts. Mm -hmm. Anything? And this is a good frame of open brood. You see there's <laughs> eggs and larvae. Uh -huh. Somebody wants to look on the other side for the queen while I look on this side. And then we'll switch sides. I don't see her on this side. I don't see anything. Is she bent? Sorry. Uh, yeah, and the stuff on the top. I thought I saw moving her around. Do they, they usually um, center on her, don't they? Um, it really that's, depends. That's not her, is At it? times they do. Once you okay, see her, it'll be really obvious, obvious. Yeah. it's yeah. her. Yeah, if you're, if you're wondering if it's her, it's not her. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you'll see her, you'll see her, you'll go, oh, there I she don't, is. I don't see her on this side. Right, I'll check this side now and you guys check that side. No. Well, she's in a clump in there or something. Well, it's typically going to be a little bit of honey in the edges. Yeah, yeah. they're kind of concentrating. And then when you see them all packed in there like that, is they're they're eating honey. Okay. So, all right, hold this stuff out of my tub. I do that. I'm actually doing. <laughs> and I do have a second one of these. Um, so I used to recommend starting with the sugar in the jar, but last time I did this, I tried it without, and I think it works better. So I just okay. get a half cup of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Half cup of these. Yep. <laughs> It's a little somewhere between Hogwarts recipes yeah. and... <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And then the rest of them can just go right back in. Okay, so half a cup of bees in a jar. Yep. With a screen. Uh -huh. Is that a special screen or can be any screen? Um, it's eighth inch hardware cloth. It's just got to be, you know, it's about sure. that size. Yeah. Okay. He has them for sale at the yeah. store so we can oh, pick great. one up. Yeah. And so, I put the sugar on there. Next. Half a cup sugar? Uh, no, it's two two teaspoons. Um, <laughs> but I have lately been just doing one scoop off the end of the high tool. Uh, that's about two teaspoons. So we candy the bees. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and the, the reason that I think this way works better 
Sorry, I'm the cook in the group, so. <laughs> because it, it sifts this, the sugar a little bit, and so it doesn't clump up as much. Ah, that's a good idea. And yeah. so then. Now, will these bees survive? Mostly. Mostly. Yeah. And then we go, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Start timer for two minutes. Ah. And so what that happens is they're um, distributing the sugar amongst themselves as well as generating some heat mm -hmm. and that helps the mites release. And so while that's happening, we can close up the hive oh, okay. a little bit and get some of the bees out of the air because we have a lot of these to do and there will be a, a frenzy by the... Oh, we, we're used to bee frenzies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he's here to have that heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, David, you don't know what you got yourself into. Yeah, you might want to get your stepdaughter to go way away because we've had, when we met we've the all been stung. Well, not me. When we've yeah. had oh, that's 19, right. <laughs> we've had people stung as far away as that uh, trailer over there. They really get pissed. Maybe we should do Hive 19 now. And that way. Uh, you know, do them last. Do them last. <laughs> Be That's true, okay. Well, he has to leave before we do that, right? <laughs> no. If they're going to be cranky about it, might as well let them be until yeah. Yeah, until it's they... that time. That's true. Um, and then paper plates. So I got, so they're right there. They're... Okay, so this is basically a mite checking kit. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do you need me to open that? Oh, you got your head too. Um, okay. How often should we be checking for mites? Um, so at least three times a year, but at this point, so this is... One. Yeah. <laughs> <Number> one. <laughs> um, but I would do it monthly from this point until the end, okay. until it gets too cold, because even though at some point you're going to, um, you know, decide if you want to treat the hives or not, yeah. um, they can, if there's failing colonies near, and they rob them, they'll bring home mites. So okay. um, you can go through this process and treat them and have the mites be low. And then a month later, find them off the charts high again. Okay. And does the mite treatment affect the honey at all? Um, some do and some do not. And that's why we, so once we get through this, we'll kind of figure out what's going on. So this one is low. Uh, can you smell the banana now? Oh yeah. So are those little things coming off? Are those the mites? They are. Oh my goodness. Yep. So do you, you smell the four? banana smell? Oh, I do know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All I smell is the smoke. Oh yeah. Ooh. Lovely. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the. So when you shake a, a jar of bees, they release the <laughs> alarm pheromone. <laughs> <laughs> that does kind of make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so there's. Let me see if I can get a good. If you can see the mites. Okay, Google. So what are the? Oops, sorry. Start timer for one minute. So a low count is um, four, six, five, six, six and under. Six and under. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. four. And, and at what four point would one more? Um, it's probably more than that because of the sugar, but we'll see. I'm sorry. At what point would we want to treat? Um, at s at seven. At seven. Okay. Yeah, um, but also so anything like in the three to six range. At this point, I let them glow, go, and then but I would use like the oxalic acid vaporizer in the winter time, just because you can lower them really effectively in the winter um, and really gently. So mm -hmm. you might as well. So you're not having to use something a harsher chemical in the springtime. Mm -hmm. um, you know, That's seven or above. It's kind of well, well, it depends on when you're taking the honey off too. Okay. So, so I'm wondering, can we keep can we keep some of those mites? Yeah, do you want to keep them alive? Um, yeah, so we can put them in the... Here, Richard, can I you mean, they them? eat bee blood, so they'll die really quickly. Will they? Um, no, I'm just trying to keep them. Okay, because you, you can just keep these plates. Sorry? Um, oh, keep the plates. Yeah. We can do that or we can feature them. Yeah, I'm wondering if we, you, you want to feature them? Why, you cut, why they come off? Do we have a marker? Probably the big one. Mm -hmm. the big ones. Yeah. yeah. So there's the big 
And then when you release the bees into the hive, I usually spread them out. If you just plop them in a big clump, um, it gets it's hard to. But you can see they're mostly live, right? Yeah, they're ghost bees. Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking? Okay, good. That is awesome. So that's that's it. Do the other so bees those, lick them where clean? Where are those Where are they living on the bee? Um, are they on the back ends of them? Forgive or? me to not being able to remember all the correct biological names, but. Yep. There's the, the hard plates in the abdomen that have uh, a soft membrane in between them, so it can accordion, and they'll snuggle up uh, in between the plates and pierce the soft membrane. Oh, gotcha. And then... Uh, and does it kill a bee? Um, well, that in itself doesn't, but the viruses that they vector when they do that right. will cause... See, that's um, why I'm wondering if Annika needs those mites. <laughs> yeah, I would take them. Yeah. So it's kind of like a West Nile? Um, yeah, that's deformed wing virus is the bad one. So this one has. Oh, look at them, Richard! Oh. This is not too many. This is this is three. I thought I saw five. Yeah, there's one, two, three. Yeah, so... This is a little bit of stuff that came out of the bottom of my yeah my uh, collection okay. thing. God, look at them. Move, move back, and it'll get nice, good lighting on it. Oh, you bet. No, you're good. Okay, yeah. That's all I need. That way she can mark it. But yeah, three. That's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. he's got it. Yeah. So this is an okay sample. If you want, um, on another, do you want to take those ones, or do you want to do it one that that bites that aren't soaking wet and drown, or? Oh. Does it matter?